I come to my favorite city by the sea to relax. And there are so many ways to do just that in Fort Lauderdale. One of my main motives for this trip, my appetite. Dine Out Lauderdale is the area's wildly successful six-week culinary lifestyle experience where visitors and residents alike can truly get a taste of Greater Fort Lauderdale's flavors for food and for life. And as Nikki Grossman explains, I've come to the right spot. 35 of our finest restaurants um, around Greater Fort Lauderdale participate from October 1st to November 14th in something that we call Dine Out Lauderdale. It is a three course meal for $35. 35 restaurants, three courses of dinner, $35. Whether it's waterfront dining or at one of the hip spots drenched in low lighting and high style. Like at my first stop, China Grill. Oh, I'm, I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna go for it. This looks great. Mm. That is so good, how can you not, you gotta eat fusion of Asian and other worldly flavors. It's one of the dine-out restaurants, but like Fort Lauderdale, your experience often surpasses your expectations. I've got something with strawberries, a mojito, and even a lychee nut. My favorite actually is the lychee nut zucatini, which actually matches our concept here very well. Um, we have a strawberry caprina, uh, which is one of the ladies' favorites. Caprina. A striking entryway bathed in golden onyx and rich walnut-hued woods welcomes you inside the Hilton Fort Lauderdale Beach Resort. And the view's not so bad either. While I could just relax here on a lounge chair all day, I have another mission, getting entertaining and cooking tips from one of the finest chefs in the area. I am cooking poolside with Chef Sean McDonald from Ilios, and he's known for his exquisite presentation, and I get to experience it. Hi, Sean. Hey, how you doing? Nice to see welcome, you. Welcome. Thanks for having us here. Hi, what a you? setup. The first item on our tapas menu, a prosciutto-wrapped fig. I mean, it's not something you greet every day, but for a dinner party, it'd be fantastic. This is all part of Dine Out Lauderdale, part of the right, menu, yep. right? Yep, it's all going to be uh, it's on the menu. It's very fresh, very vibrant. It's just what you want to do this time of year. And this is it. This is pretty much it. You just drape the uh, prosciutto delicately over your figs. Splash of extra virgin olive oil. And the same with the honey. You just yeah, we'll drizzle it over? Drizzle it over. Chef McDonald is thrilled to help bring his fabulous flavors into his patrons' homes. At home, just simple. Keep things as simple as you can. Try not to put too much on the plate. You can always go back and get more. But different yeah. colors. If you need to add some red, dish, red to a dish, make sure it's part of the dish, not just red for the sake of red. Oh, you guys cannot miss out on this. You have to try it for yourself. Next, I head over to the Diplomat Golf Resort and Spa, where I'll be cooking crab cakes alongside the greens with Chef Andrew at Lynx Restaurant and Lounge. When you come to Fort Lauderdale, it seems that you always want seafood or some version of it with your meal. So crab cakes are a delicious treat to have. His secret ingredient, rice. It's actually a neutral flavor. I've never heard of that. It helps bind it, and actually, um, sometimes the kernels get on the outside and give it a little bit extra texture, which is pretty good. Mm. Delicious. Catering to its guests is one of Fort Lauderdale's finest attributes. Whether it's at a resort, one of the many nightclubs, or restaurants on the Dine Out Lauderdale list, personal attention is added to everything from the smallest bites to the most elaborate entrees. And it all deserves a taste.